Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our React JS tutorial. So in this video, let me explain how to create this JSON server REST API and how to test against this API in Postman. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. Before that, let me explain what is this JSON server. So this is the node model. So using this, uh, we can create the fake API. So basically, if you are creating the real-time API, it will take some additional time. So using this concept, we can create our API within one or two minutes, okay? So the first thing is, we have to install this JSON server in your machine. So there are two ways. So one is we can install globally. Other than that, we can install for the separate application. So let me take the second option. So in this new terminal, I'm going to execute this command. Okay, great. We have installed our JSON server. The next step is we have to create the API and we need to run it. So the command is JSON server. Watch db.json. And also I'm going to mention the port number. So basically it will run this uh, 3000, but already our React application also running in the 3000, that's what. I am going to provide the port number separately. So see the command, the db.json file does not uh, exist. So it's creating this db.json file with some default data. Now let me copy this one. See, we are getting the data. Now, let me show in our application. So, the idea is, uh, it is a just on JSON file, db.json file. It's first, it's created. And if you noted here, it's included these three objects, okay? So, based on the object, it will generate the endpoints. So, in case, if I'm removing these two. So, let me save it. See, now, currently, we have these posts only. So in case, I'm going to include one more method. I'm going to provide the name is employee. See now there are two endpoints. So in, then ID after that I'm going to give name. Now let me take this URL. Okay, so now we are able to get this data. So as I mentioned, this is the REST API so that we can use the put method, post and delete also that we can test using this postman. I will do a little later. So before that, I want to convey more information. So here we are using this db.json file. In some cases, if you are having the separate JSON files in some other folder, that also we can use as our JSON server. So let me stop this one. Okay, here I'm going to create one separate folder data. And let me create one more database file. Now I'm going to give the name as uh, database. So this is one of the JS file. Here I'm going to include one object. So the object name is company. Here let me include some objects. And the next one is name. Now I'm going to run this JSON file. So the command is JSON server. Then watch. And here the folder name is data. So inside there we have the file is database.json. Then we have to specify our port name. I mean the port number. Okay, then it's fine. See now, it's loaded. We have this endpoint with the company. So let me take this one. Now let me go to the postman. So the first method is the get method. See now it is returning only one data. Now let me go to the one more tab. 
here I am going to use this uh, get by code method. So I'm going to pass one parameter psi d. So we are getting this single object. So the previous one we are getting this list, but here we are getting this object. In case if I'm providing true, we don't have the data. So in this case we are getting this empty array. Okay. Now let me verify our post method. This is the post and let me take the sample object so in this body and this input type is JSON so here ID is to name NT infotech So let me send the request. So now we are getting the response is 201. It's created. Now let me go to my get method. See now the new record is included. Okay. So same way I'm going to include one more record. Okay, this is fine. Uh, now I'm going to use the put method. Let me take the same URL. Now I'm just changing the request type put method in this body. So let me change this one and also the JSON. We can take this is the object. Here I am going to change the name into test company. We are passing the object same time we have to pass the key value also the key value our id is 3 so let me execute this one see now we are getting this 200 response now let me verify our get method see now it's updated test company or else i'm going to give just to react just run text change See it's updated. So you can see the text also got updated. The final one is delete method. So I'm going to take the same URL and the request type is delete. You can use the same URL. Here we are passing the key value also. So let me execute this one. So you now I am getting this 200 response. Now let me go to our get method. So the record got deleted. And the same way I will show you. So in our database.json file also we have only two records, right? Now I am going to remove one more record. The two. Now you see. So the data removed from our JSON file also. And if I'm creating something, let me go to this post method. So, so the data are automatically gets included in our JSON file. So now we are in the end of the video. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. In my next video, I will explain how to consume these services in our application. Please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.